Are you wondering what version of Windows you're using? Are you wondering how much RAM you have installed? How fast is your CPU? How can we easily get the specs on our system when we're running Windows 10? Find out in this episode. So there's probably many, many different ways you can obtain the information that you're looking for. That's one of the beauties of Windows is there's always going to be a lot of different ways to do things. Let's cover two main methods that most would use for this. One, a quick overview kind of look at the information. The other, we can drill down into details. So the first method, the overview, I'm going to type about. So I type the word about here in the search area in my taskbar, and you can see the very first link is about your PC. So this brings us into an about area of the PC's settings application. And if we look in here, notice one of the first things that we're going to see is device specifications. And the device specifications area is often what someone is looking for. Notice this is going to give them information about their device name, the type processor that they're using, the amount of RAM that's installed. And uh, that brings a smile to my face because just last weekend on this particular machine in my studio here, I took it from 16 gigs of RAM to 32 gigs of RAM, the most it can accommodate. So that's kind of funny to get a visual verification there that my RAM truly did upgrade the way I wanted it to. Notice this is where you would check to ensure that you have both a 64-bit processor as well as a 64-bit operating system running on top of that processor. But I'll tell you, uh, a lot of times, this is not the reason we're coming in here, those specifications. The reason that we're coming in here is down below. This has become more important than ever. These are the Windows specifications. Microsoft wasn't kidding. I thought they were when they said Windows 10 is the last major version number for Windows. Yeah, they definitely weren't kidding because that was years ago now. And here we still have Windows 10. It never became Windows 11. And we can see that I'm running the Windows 10 Home Edition and you can see 20 H2 for a version there. So 20H2, we or H, yeah, 20H2, we could look up in Google, right? But one thing I know is that that 20 seems to be, I don't think it's a coincidence that that would be 2020, the year that was just in our rear view mirror. So you can see what specific version, what OS build, notice I'm on 19042.746. This could often be critical information when you're troubleshooting systems. Have you noticed that yet? Like you go to Google something and there'll be this big long web page that says, are you on this build of Windows? Do this. Are you on this build of Windows? Do this. So I guess it's cool that we don't have to worry about anything beyond a Windows 10 as far as major release goes, but it makes things a little challenging because now we have to figure out if you're working with someone that has a very old copy of Windows 10 on their system or they've been doing all the updates and they have the latest, greatest features and fixes from Microsoft. So the about this PC area, that is obviously going to be very beneficial. It's what I will often use myself, even though supposedly I am an expert. But we know that, look, there may be times where we need this information and that presentation that we just saw typically gets it done. But if we do need to dig a little further, that's when you can go to a much older tool. This has been with us since, oh my goodness, uh, you know, this has been with us for decades and this was, you know, oftentimes something you would get to by navigating through the control panel. It's called system information. In fact, one of the interesting things about this is notice when you first come in here, it's on highlighted a system summary. And then if you go in and you look at these details, you're quickly going to see, oh, look at this. This is giving me everything that was in that about this PC or about this system uh, tool that we were just looking at. 
except it's a lot more verbose. There's a lot more details in this summary of our system than in that last tool that we saw. And I told you, you could really dig in to get an incredible level of detail. And yeah, that would be by utilizing these components over here. So if I wanted to get a lot more information, for instance, about the software on this device, specifically what software drivers are in place, notice we can select that option and then we can drill in and we can get a lot more information about the drivers that are making this Windows 10 machine I'm on right now actually function. So it's great to have options, two different ways in which we can get that information about our PC that we are looking for. We had the about this PC option right there in the cozy settings of the Windows 10 machine. And then we had the system information option, which gives us a lot more detail. That'll intimidate some, but it may be somewhere we're digging around when we're doing some intense troubleshooting. So I am thrilled that you joined us here to get this look at these two different ways in which we're gonna obtain specs off of our Windows 10 machine. And if you'd like more Windows 10 videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to click on that bell so you'll be notified every time myself or one of my great colleagues here at IT Pro TV has some more Windows 10 education for you. Thanks again, everybody.